PHP, HTML, CSS. What the heck's the difference? Welcome to WordPress Vidcast, a daily video podcast featuring WordPress tutorials, theme reviews, plugin reviews, techniques, tactics, tips, and tricks so you can build a niche site, build your small business website, build your brand hub, or build your first website without freaking out. You can build a website with WordPress and I can show you how. The WordPress Vidcast. Use the hell out of WordPress. Welcome to the WordPress Vidcast. I'm your host, Josh Robbs, helping you use the hell out of WordPress. Seriously, folks, you need to spend less time building your websites and more time building your business. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the difference between PHP, HTML, and CSS. Um, this isn't something for you to master, just something for you to understand uh, the general role it plays. It's like understanding the difference between offense and defense in football. You know, you don't un- need to understand what each position does you don't need to understand the rules you just need to understand the difference between offense defense and special teams and that's not a, a direct comparison but they are three distinct things that are very related similar in a lot of ways but in execution completely different all right so the first thing we'll do is give you an overview of how these guys work all right let's switch to the the uh, black screen all right so you have a server They're all web pages are hosted on a server. A server is a specialized computer. It has software on it. Some of them have Windows as an operating system. There's different kinds of operating systems. Um, It's just a specialized computer. So this is where all the bulk of uh, websites are, are are stored and then they're sent to your PC. So, over here on the server, you have a bunch of different files stored. You have PHP files. I have no idea what it stands for. It stands for pretty handy, pretty handy programming for all I know. Uh, it is a text file. HTML. HTML is a text file. PHP ends in .php. HTML ends in .html. Um, but it can also end in .htm. Why, I do not know. And you have .css files, cascading style sheets. HTML is hypertext markup language. HTML is hypertext markup. I'm too lazy to write the letter L. Now, whenever I talk about one of these, I mean both of them. They're interchangeable. Just remember that. There's only like one situation where they're different, and that's just because uh, if there's a, a tie in this computer thing, one takes precedent, what, who cares, whatever. All right, now... On your computer, you have a browser. There's Internet Explorer. There is Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera, whatever your browser. Very similar, slight differences, but that is on the computer side. Server side, computer side. They These guys on the server side are simply good old-fashioned text files that you could write and was it WordPad and Notepad on your Windows computer? Well, a browser doesn't speak PHP. <laughs> doesn't care. It displays HTML. HTML is for your browser. A cascading style sheet does not display on your browser. It displays on your HTML in your browser. It's uh, an add-on. It's icing on the cake. It is skin on your body. It's a nice coat of paint on your house. It is not something that you can display by itself unless you're just looking at the text file. It is an additional set of instructions for the HTML, and I'll explain that in a second. So, if PHP cannot go to the browser, where does it go? It goes to the server. It's processed on the, on the server. So, HTML text it has flags to tell the browser what to do and it's on the browser cascading style cascading style sheet text it too has flags helps the browser PHP goes to the server and then can be the the output can be uh, HTML or CSS. PHP is text, 
com uses a computer language, computer lang, and it's for the server. Call it or a, a computer language or a program in language. So HTML to the browser, CSS helps br the browser understand how to display the HTML and the PHP goes into the server and the output is HTML, CSS or something like that because it can write text and these guys are text. Alright, so you're following that? I hope so because we're moving on. Alright. Good old fashioned web page. Whoops. What did I do? Anyway, okay, we got, we got the web page. This is what a web page looks like when you first install WordPress. Now I'm going to turn off the style sheets. <gasps> Boom. The column's gone. The, the heading bar at the top is gone. Actually, look at this picture right down here at the bottom, bottom left. Picture me in my uniform. That is a sexy son of a gun. That's actually for my wedding. All right, bring it back to the top. Turn on the style sheet. See this picture right here? There it is. It's up here now. This bar is created with CSS. That's how par powerful CSS is. And that's just dressing it up, moving items around, changing the color, changing... Um, <laughs> Lose my mind. Color, font style. Uh, if, if you dig into this cascading style sheet for this, you'd see that these guys with, with the small, with the ca all capital letters, it's actually M E lowercase E, or capital M lowercase E lowercase T lowercase A, but the CSS transforms it into that. Kind of powerful, kind of snazzy. All right, let's look at some of this stuff real quick before we move on. This is a style sheet. Don't want the style sheet. Don't want that. What am I looking for here? There it is. All right. This is HTML. You have a flag. Uh, actually, let me scroll down. There we go. Right here. Welcome to WordPress. Right here. This is this is the entry from the first first automatic blog post. That's right there. So, it's a division of text. DIV has the. It opens it and closes it. That's how it opens the tag, closes the tag. And now at the bottom, you have this. I'm over here with that one. That's that one. Opens the tag and ends it. So, you always have this. this it tells you that this is a section. And then it has a class, right? Here says class, and that's how it knows how the. T Hold on, there we go. That's how the browser knows what CSS to attach. This is the CSS that it's going to look for, and the CSS. Oops, I'm, is right here. And the thing I highlighted in the last one, it'd be like that, or probably more like that. Entry content. Look at that. Entry header, so that you can style the header one way. You can style the content one way. You tell the PHP to write the HTML a certain way, and you have the CSS already written, ready to in interact together. All right, so we're done with that. Now let's look at the PHP real quick, real quick. All right, this is a function. Or this is a plugin that spits out random Hello Dolly lyrics. So you have this right here, function. It says function. That is a computer programming term. And you have like creating uh, variables and explode or explode is. And you have WP texturize. I don't have a clue. And see how it says style type equals. This is the beginning of setting up a mini style sheet for your uh, to style. The, the HTML that this PHP file is going to put out. So PHP is on the server. It can create other text files. HTML and CSS are text files, so those can be created by PHP. Your browser displays HTML. HTML is the bones and organs, the skeleton of your website. 
and then you have the CSS file that, that helps the browser know what to do with the HTML file and what to do with its output. That's the the skin, the makeup, the the, the styled hair, the mani petty of your website, whatever you want to call it. So I hope you understand this. This will be very useful uh, because the next the next tutorial will involve some CSS, and that's why I'm doing this this one first. And uh, we're going to do advanced image editing and placement and styling for your WordPress posts. Until next time, folks, remember, the best way to learn how to build a website is to build it, break it, and then build it better. Until later, folks, good night.